Let's see, where were we? I believe we were thinking about this. And right now we've got this, but um, it's not properly uh, droppable, so I can, can't do anything with it once I click on it. So that's what we're going to do this time. We're going to make it so that when we click on it, it becomes properly droppable. So there's one thing to, to keep in mind here. We want this to work whether we click and drag, or whether we click and then drag and then click. So because of that, we need to uh, um, have a, a slightly more... We don't have just one way to deal with it, so we need to keep that in mind when we create our code. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to make it so that that line goes away if you click somewhere that is not uh, a viable target. So let's go ahead and open up the inventory script. Grind, 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 grind. That was slow. All right, so here we are. And we want to take our... Uh, we've got... Uh, uh, I received a couple of complaints about not commenting, and it's true, I didn't put enough comments in. In fact, I didn't put any comments in, because I was afraid of slowing it down, uh, the, the video. I may go ahead and start putting in comments now as I work, uh, which will slow me down a little bit, but as you can see, there's a giant slab of stuff here in Ongui that's not very clear as to what it is. So let's go ahead and work through it until we find the part that we are actually interested, interested in, and we will... Uh, uh, just comment as we work our way through it. So this part here is about clicking on shown items. So so what this does is it gets the display rectangle and then if we uh, if our mouse is over it then it is the selected object and if we click while we're on the selected object we, we call the click so And then we break, which just takes us down to here. So down here. So this just displays the GUI. It displays the GUI on top of the in-game model. And then down here, what we do is we create the tabs. And this is where we can click on the various tabs. But the thing we're actually looking into here is the craftable tab, which is down here uh, on GUI craftable. That's this guy. So the craftable uh, core here is the grid. And then here we check and see if we're dragging, and I've actually commented this out. I commented it when I was building it because I was having a hard time with where the actual points were. But if we're dragging, there's more that we need to do. We actually need to check and see if our event is going to cancel our drag. So we'll do that first. So here we'll just say... We'll just draw the arrow if we didn't click, but now we need to check if we did click. Now we've actually already got that check. We check up here, this, which works. So let's just grab this. So now we can say, OK, we've just clicked. We've just moused down. And if we've just clicked, then we're no longer dragging. Uh, we can draw the arrow or not. It really doesn't matter very much because uh, the arrow that gets drawn is actually going to be redrawn at the end of the frame due to the fact that the mouse down event is a GUI event which happens in the middle of the frame, or rather, you know, in the processing section. So after the mouse down event gets called, there's then a redraw event that gets called, and then that will actually do all of this work here. We could actually optimize it a little bit by making it so that the... Um, uh, this only gets called on the redraw on the on the part that actually draws the, the piece that we need, but that's over optimization. We don't need to be that aggressive. For now, we should be able to tell right away that we can click once and then click again, and it didn't go away. Why didn't you go away? So let's take a look here. Um, Let's just keep our eye open for this. Go over here to the console. Oh, uh, 
Oh, dragging is not a boolean. That was the problem. Always check for errors. Um, so dragging equals null. Because dragging actually points to the object we're dragging. It does not just get set to true. Alright, so now let's try that. So you can see that when we click, the mouse down actually takes effect so fast that it doesn't even register. It, uh, we click to select it and then it immediately deselects itself. And it happens so fast that we actually get an error here when we're doing this part. Because we set it to equal to null and then we cancel it. So obviously, um, if we wanted to do it this way, we'd, we'd have to do this down at the bottom. Or we'd have to return here in the middle. Let's go ahead and put in a return. We don't have any... Um, you got to be a little bit careful in the GUI sec sections when you're doing a uh, check for click here. You got to be a little bit careful in the GUI sections when you are just going to call return like this, because if you're in the middle of a GUI um, layout call, you'll return without closing the GUI layout call, and that can cause some errors. Uh, but in this case, we're not using any GUI layout here. We're just drawing a texture, so it doesn't matter. However, uh, the other problem that we have is that right here, we check and see that we've clicked, and then we break out to here, right? And then we draw all of this stuff. And there, and there we go into on GUI craftable, which goes down here, right? So when we click, we continue with all of our GUI stuff. It goes down into here, and then we immediately say, oh, well, yeah, we clicked. Of course we clicked. And it undoes the dragging that we just set. So we have to put it so that this mouse down doesn't actually trigger if you're current if you if you just clicked and there's two ways to do that one of which is to look for a mouse up so and now if we hit play and we go into craftable we can drag and then when we mouse up it goes away but this doesn't work if we want to click and then move and then click so what we need to do in that case is we actually do need to check for a mouse down but we need to have a slightly more complicated set of mouse down parameters because we only want to care about the mouse down after the first. So to do that what we're going to do is we're going to have to set this to used. I, th I believe that is easy to do here. Um, what is the click option? Here it is. So let's go ahead and see whether that will work. Event.current.use And so what I'm hoping is that that means that we'll be able to do the mouse down as well and it will work because the event will be used and therefore not available but unfortunately it'll still exist so we need to be a little bit more aggressive than that so I'm gonna actually line break this so that we can see it more clearly here we go so if the current of type is mouse down and event dot current dot I'm not actually sure. If, the problem is, I think that use only works. Yeah, sorry, I've misled you a little bit. The problem is that use only works at preventing it from being raised again on a different context. So even though we're using it, since we're going to continue within the same context, it's going to not work. Um, we're still going to have the same event. So we're actually going to go ahead and change it just a little bit here. Uh, and I'm sorry if I, I've lost you. So let's go over what's going on one more time, because I know that these events are kind of confusing for uh, many coders who have just started out into events. And in fact, they're a little confusing even for me, because uh, here you can see that I've, I've lost track of what my context is. So just to go over it one more time, the problem is up here in on GUI, we check for a mouse down event. This is the event that called on GUI is only called when an event happens. And there are some events that get called every frame. But in this case, it's the mouse down event that we are actually looking for. So the on GUI call happened because of a mouse down event. And therefore, we click. This break just breaks us down to here, which in turn means that all of this gets executed in the same context. The event, the current event is still the current the current event is still the current event we we're still in the middle of a click event all of this gets called and that includes this on GUI craftable call which goes down here and this says oh yeah the current event is a mouse down in fact the current event is guaranteed to be a mouse down on the first time through so in order to stop that we've got to make it so that either this knows that it's the 
the frame that we initially got called on, or we need to make it so that this doesn't actually even get called. And this is actually perfectly safe. So what I'm going to do here is instead of break, I'm going to go return. Now the reason that I'm going to go um, return, just, just flat return. Now the reason that I'm going to put in return there instead of break is because all of this stuff down here is display code. And none of this matters in the slightest uh, on the on click event, on the mouse down event. The mouse down event is not a display event. On GUI will not make any changes to the screen during a mouse down event unless you're doing some odd stuff. It will wait until the layout event fires and then it'll do the layout and then it'll wait until the redraw event fires and then it'll do the actual drawing. So if I return here, nothing is lost because all of this code here uh, won't make any difference if it's called during a mouse down event anyway. So it's actually this will save us just a tiny bit of effort and it also means that we don't have to try and keep track over whether the current event is used. So let's go ahead and see whether that works. So I'm going to click once, it didn't work. So if I click and drag it still works, but the click once didn't work. Hmm. Hold on, let me look into this. Okay, I know, I know what the problem is. I've actually fallen into my own trap here. You might remember that click is a boolean, and this boolean actually... Um, uh, I made this a little more complicated than I remembered, and this is the problem when you take a week off. Click is a boolean function. It returns true if the inventory has closed. And the reason for that is because otherwise, we go down here and we try and draw this, and it doesn't exist anymore because we've closed the inventory. But in this case, we don't actually care. We always want to return. So we'll just say, click A, return. Hmm. That didn't seem to work either. This really shouldn't be this complicated, and I, I mean I could make it work with just the drag, but I've actually really prefer it if um, I could figure out why it's going down here and setting this equal to... Oh, it's the mouse up! I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, so the mouse down event is fixed. Uh, this, is not, this is not an issue. So we fix this part. Uh, okay, so when we click, we stop this GUI display, and that's fine because the click event, the mouse down event, doesn't actually care about what the GUI display is. Um, it's not going to draw any more GUI uh, front-end stuff. So we can just return and say, okay, well the mouse the mouse down did its job. We don't really care what the rest of the GUI has to do, and that'll come up later. But we still have a mouse up event, so when we mouse down, that works out. But then when we mouse up, um, it will call this mouse up event here. So what we have to do is we have to make this mouse up event more um, uh, compelling. Uh, it has to be more uh, careful. So let's just go ahead and delete that for now. And we'll, we'll be able to see that the mouse down works. Yeah, see? So now we have the other half. So the first I did the drag and the let go, and now I've got to have it so that when I click and then click, it works. So I've got each of them working independently. The question is, how can I get them to work together? And the answer is that I just need to make the mouse up event more discriminating. It has to uh, be about checking and seeing that we're not actually in the rectangle of the currently selected object, which we can do using this. Mm, these. All right, so. Item rect equals dragging dot transform. But this isn't going to be, that might not be correct. Hold on, let me think for a second. I'm actually going to go ahead and store the item rect so I don't have to recalculate it.
Now the reason I'm doing that is because as I'm dragging the item, the get item display rect may change to continue to be bracketed. Oh no, it won't. What am I thinking? This would be safer. Um, I'm a little bit worried about making this too complicated to explain here. I guess it won't. Just let's not bother. Let's just leave that. That that that's unnecessarily complex. I was planning ahead because if I was going to actually move the object, the object, the item rectangle would change. But we're not actually moving the object, so it's okay. Um, we are just drawing an arrow from the object. So here we say, if the kind of event is a mouse up and item rect dot contains. So what we're doing now is we're saying, well, if it's a mouse down, then that's definitely the end. Uh, we we only have mount, the only mouse down event that's going to get through to this is going to be the one where you're setting something down. But on the other hand, we might get an extraneous mouse up event. So we have to say, well, if we've moused up and we're still on top of the item in question, don't count it. Uh, but I've actually done it the opposite. There we are. Don't count it. With, so uh, let's go ahead and, and see if that works. And I hope I didn't lose anybody there. Okay. Item rec dot contains. Is it capital C contains? Yeah. Whatever. There we go. So now we've got it clicking correctly. Now this was a little bit of a complicated episode just because I had to explain a lot of stuff about event uh, control and how it all works out, and because I ran afoul of a couple of my old design decisions I'd forgotten about. This is important. Why it's in, this is why it's important to comment your code um, and to remember to remember how it works too. Uh, this is going to allow us to next episode make it so that the items can be stored in that three by three grid, and then in the, in the episode after that we'll be able to refine them into an object.